Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. Okay, so I was hearing the great escape. Now, I do feel like somebody is going to end up getting away with something. Um, I don't, I don't know. That it could be major, it could be minor, I don't know. But somebody is about to get away with something. The great escape. Okay. Or maybe somebody feels like um they get away with something and they're not. I feel like something is an illusion. Okay. If you have court coming up soon, you're going to be like let off of something. Just like a ticket or something. Also, I heard a breach in data. Yeah, some, something is going to go wrong like in the courts or something. Or you might get notified that you don't have to come to court. It's here for Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. So, crown chakra here. Consciousness, fertility. Okay. Somebody's about to be made aware of a pregnancy as well. Um, and somebody's going to be made aware that they're not pregnant. Somebody could have been having a pregnancy scare. Masculine. Y'all better wrap that dick up. Oh. Masculine, y'all better get it together, fam. Get it together. Crown chakra consciousness, fertility, sacral chakra, universal love synergy. You could also have a child with this person or something. Divine fam. Divine fam, this is you finding out about a pregnancy here. Or you may be having a pregnancy scare. Or you may have had a pregnancy scare. They're not pregnant. Alchemy is in the reverse. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for you. Oh, we third eye chakra. You're definitely about to be viewing something. Um, but it's going to be in a different light. Yeah, something is not changing. Or something just can't be changed here. Oh, we... I definitely am picking up somebody betrayed you here. It's my name, Shauna. Crown chakra, consciousness, fertility, sacral chakra, universal love, synergy in the reverse, divine them, alchemy, third eye chakra, and changes in the reverse. So, However you choose to take this news, I feel like that's how you want to choose to take it. You do the rule, whatever this is. For masculine. A lot of y'all, um, masculine, oh, get the fuck on. Masculine do not want no child with this person. But I feel like, bro, I mean, stop sticking dick in motherfuckers if you don't want no kids. Y'all can't keep reacting off of impulse. Just because you're drunk or high or something, you can't just, you can't keep doing that here. We. Somebody's having a gender reveal. Okay, congrats, you guys. All of you guys that are having babies and shit, congrats. Milk and honey fell out on the reverse. I mean, on the floor in the reverse, sorry. <laughs> Show gratitude all the time. This, this is basically you just, you know, finding out about some shit, I feel like it was just underlying in the energy. You did the rule. I feel like this was just something that was, like, underneath the surface. Like, maybe you wanted to heal something with someone, or maybe you were wondering something about this person. You are absolutely fucking spot on here. You're not gonna mend anything with them either. I feel like this has pretty much ruined you all's connection, if anything. This has ruined some things for you guys. I feel like this person is responsible, though, or you're responsible for why this is ending. Somebody does not want to take accountability for something or they want to um, deny it, which is still, you know, taking they don't want to take accountability for it. Ser serendipity in the reverse to the seeds in the reverse communities in the reverse. This person is even wow. Some somebody is going to try to get violent with this person. Time to go is in the reverse. Like this, this masculine energy is stuck. Whoever this masculine energy is, they're stuck with a baby that they don't want. But like I said, you guys got to be more careful. We Time for a nap is in the reverse. Yeah, you're going to be up all night with that baby. But it's a blessing. Babies are blessings. Here and now, with all of the changes that are going on in the world right now, I feel like people just need to be careful. It's too many fucking diseases going on around. It's too much shit going on. It's just too much shit going on for you to be out here exposed. You dig a rule? 
You can't be just out here exposed like that. This person is not even loyal. They're not loyal to whoever this energy is. So, Fem, this could be your masculine wanting to come tell you something um, about they have a new baby or something. They're hoping that you take them back or, you know, whatever. Just breathe here, I feel. Somebody got maced. The hell? Somebody definitely got maced. Yeah. Somebody is lying to you. It's like they want to keep, it's like they're out here, they're they're building up all this karma, they're, they're doing so much shit to you, but then they want to come in and tell you a lie. Truth be told is in the reverse, so please. So, divine feminine, divine masculine. Like I said, if you want to, if you choose to deal with whatever this person is coming with, then hey, you know, do as you please, I feel. I feel you should do as you please. Whatever makes you happy, that's what you should be doing. You dig a rule? Um, if you want to accept this person for whatever this is, do that. You know, it's not nothing wrong with forgiving the person, but just understand the vibes. Understand what will come along with this. You have to always know what you're getting into before you get into it. You dig a rule? And I feel like this person, they didn't do their research on this other person. It's like they, they, they were not careful. They were not cautious or something here. What's here? Yeah, patience and magician in the mirror. So this this person is gonna try to wait you out, I heard. They're gonna try to this person is gonna try to continue lying to you to um keep you waiting. They're gonna cause you a lot of illusions, I feel. And for one, I feel like you already know the truth about whatever this is. So don't even play with this person. Don't even give this person the benefit of the doubt, I feel. Our angel Raphael is here. So if you got an archangel showing up, at least you know this person is on bullshit here. The thinking man is in the reverse. Yeah, the man holding the coin. This is what I'm trying to say, fam. Masculine. This shit right here is ugly. I, I don't trust this person. I just don't. This person was supposed to appreciate you and your connection, but they went out and they did too much. I heard they got mad because you were seeing someone else. <laughs> So they put a complete end to y'all's connection and went and had more kids or something. I mean, well, you need to deal with that. I feel this person needs to deal with whatever this is. It's like they keep trying to come back to you because you're this kind, loving person. It's like they want you to have all this empathy and sympathy and remorse. You dig a rule. They, they want you to feel so sad, so bad for them. But they're out here being very reckless with their body. That has nothing to do with you. And it's like the people that they're choosing to have children with is just like, okay, you show whoever you out here laying down with, that shows a real, you know, reflection of your character. And this person is, um, they're showing you who they are by the people that they keep associating themselves with. This person broke y'all contract. They breached the contract here. Maybe that's what that breach is, I heard. Somebody's baby is going to be breached. Or you could have had your child breach or something here. One of your kids could have been breached here, fam. I okay. Oh, Somebody wears a significant dot, like, right on their third eye or something here, like a piece of jewelry. Somebody's very fucking deceiving. I heard the end all be all, and that shit is over. <laughs> this person is pissed off. They were hiding the fact that they truly cared about you, right? But then they went out and they were having sex with different people. This person may have several other kids that you don't know anything about. They're hiding a lot from you. They are. This person will never tell you the truth about anything. I feel like you'll just always have to listen to your intuition. Yep. This and this person going to take all their money. This, this person is only after money. Masculine, I do want to tell you, if you got someone pregnant, this person only wanted you to... Get them pregnant for money. Okay, throw your whole life off. I, I mean, I keep telling you guys this. There's some very hostile energy that comes with this person. Masculine don't even love this person. Whoever this is. There's no love here at all to begin with or end with here. Angel of strength. Somebody is definitely dedicated to making your life a living hell is what I do want to say. this. It's like this person was sent to you or something, it seems like. Yeah, masculine don't even have no love for this person. I feel like, well, what the fuck is you, you, like, huh? You fucking this person. I mean, why you don't love them? Why you ain't got no emotion toward them? What you fucking them for? Strategy. Somebody thought that, you know, they knew exactly what they were doing, but they ended up fucking their life up, and now they want to blame you. Or 
they want to come into your life and potentially fuck your shit up because they fuck theirs up. You dig a rule? Obviously. You know, obviously, because like, what the fuck do you want? At this, at this rate that this person had been going, what the fuck else could they want right here is what I'm saying. You obviously are trying to come in and fuck this person's life up. You don't want anything truly with this person. That's the way I feel. I feel like that about this energy because it's like, what the hell was all this time for? What were you playing so many games for? This person played a lot of games in the streets with a lot of different people. And I just feel like you're not going to go for it. You're just not. It's something um very significant about golf. Or this person dresses like a golf player. Like this person is very... um. I heard white boyish. I wasn't trying to be funny. Like you dress like a white boy. And that shit really sexy to me. You know, like sweater over the shoulders kind of energy. Sweater tied in a knot over the shoulders. Um, polo hat, polo shirt, shit. You know what I mean? Like this, that's who this person is. This motherfucker fine as hell too. I can't lie. Somebody named Ahmad or Amari. Ahmad. Something like that. Something like that. I don't know. Keenan. Somebody named Keenan for sure. But this person, um, this person is very handsome. Or this person is very beautiful. They can dress very well, you know, well spoken. Um but see, that's that's this person. This person is like a pretty boy, you know. I'm getting real pretty boy energy here from this person. Authority, reverse, fertility. Yeah, this person was they they were they were coming into union with different people here, and it's like you're gonna see something that's going to bring you clarity. But this person still wants to be with you. It's like they they play so many games, and it's they only want to be with you because this person is giving them fucking hell. Whoever this energy is, is giving them hell, period. I don't give a fly fucking fuck. They don't. I mean, this, this person does not love this person at all. They've come in and completely disrupted this person's life. And it's like nothing they can do because it was planned. You dig a root? Moving on here. You're already moving on. You're already gone. It's like you're, you're on your own wave. You're making deals and shit. And this person is sitting back watching you. You know, in a frenzy here is what I heard. <laughs> this person mad as fucking hell fuck at you because you're moving on and you don't have any attachments. You don't have anything attached to you. Anybody attached to you. They're mad because you're free. And they're mad because they fuck their life. Like this person, whoever this person is, they're going to ruin this person's life. I mean, like straight up. This, this person ain't ever had no good intention for whoever this masculine is. They're suffering in silence. They're not going to tell you this here. They're facing a lot of obstacles. All this shit fell on the floor. Conflict and defeat and memories of love. They're sitting back reminiscing. I heard the word nostalgia. It's a lot of thinking of divine femme or divine masculine here. Thinking of how they fucked up or how they had a chance to do something. I also feel like too, this person could have gotten a divorce with somebody or ended a relationship that they were supposed to end. They were supposed to come towards you, but instead they still went out and was having sex with other people and they have another child here. I feel like you know this. Spiritually, you strong as fucking hell. We? Yeah. Yep. This person is crying because they lied to you or they're going to come in lying. I feel like this person is just full of shit. It's my name, Marcus. Yep. You're not worried though, I feel. Trapped in fear is in the reverse and then spiritual strength is like, yeah, okay, I'm good on you kind of energy. This person could have also contracted some kind of disease. Huh. It's something about this person. They, um, they're hiding a lot from you and you don't even know. It's like, you know, intuitively, but you don't physically know, but you're, you're about to physically find out. I feel like whoever this person is that's pregnant, they were waiting to get pregnant by this person just to come rub it in your face or something. 
Maybe they know this is your divine masculine or something here. Or they know something about y'all used to talk. Like this person is just a, a loser. This person is very jealous. Whoever this feminine or this masculine energy is. Masculine, your film is pregnant by someone else. You may not know this. You might have not seen this person in a while. But they're definitely pregnant. They may hide this from you for a long ass time. But see, nobody can hide shit from y'all is what I'm saying. I don't I don't even know why this person is just... I don't even know why the fuck they're in your energy. It's just like, you've been doing all this low down ass shit. Why in the hell are you in this person energy? You shouldn't be trying to date nobody. You need to be taking parenting classes and breathing classes and shit. What the fuck is you talking about? These motherfuckers need to be going to mommy and daddy breathing parenting classes and shit. Planned parenthood and shit. You know, this person shouldn't be worried about you. That's their problem. See, the thing about it is, you got a child on the way or you just had a baby. Your main focus is somebody else. What the fuck is wrong with you? You need to be getting your life together. This person is not concerned at all about their life. They're only concerned about you and what you're doing. And then guess what? This person got the fucking nerve, 1616, to come in and try to block you. They got the fucking nerve to be sending up spell work and shit on you. They got the nerve. This person is heavily influenced with spell work, period. And I mean heavily. This person is into spell work very deeply. They probably tried to get a bitch to clone you or something here, fam. <laughs> uh, secret doorway reverse. Because I'm, 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 I'm feeling some kind of way like this bitch gonna reach out to you. But I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck do this hoe know you. Fam, you might be married to this person. Nah, dead ass for real. Because it's, it's some way that this hoe feel like she can creep up and tell you something. This bitch be in her own special place. You know, um, writing divine masculine name 50 times on a fucking piece of paper and shit. This whole crazy too. I heard self-inflicted. This person right here is going to take this masculine through a lot of shit. But I feel like that's what they get. This is what they manifested. This person was trying to have this person purposely copying off of you. So that's what they got. A fucking copy. And now they don't know how to deal with this shit. Mm. It's something about your beauty here. And then maybe this, this masculine energy thought that this would make you jealous. <laughs> how the fuck would that make you jealous by this fool going out having a thousand kids? How, do, how would that? I'm just trying to figure out how that would make you jealous. I'm just really trying to figure this out here. Yeah. As for what you want, be honest here, fam. Masculine. As for what you want and be honest, that's just what you have to do. You have to listen to the guidance that you've been being given. Now, this person, on the other hand, does not listen to guidance. This person does not listen to anything whatsoever. You dig a room? That's why they're in this predicament. And a lot of times, you know, motherfuckers be mad at you because they can't see exactly what's going on. Or they get mad at you when you move on and they can see it. Either way it goes, like, I feel like an ex needs to stay in the past. Y'all are not together. You don't have any range over this person. You don't tell them what to do. This person doesn't owe you any explanations. Bitch, you need to move the fuck on. Because clearly in the energy, this person has moved on several times from you. We, that's what I'm picking up here, fair masculine. So you're going to find out something about a child. And I feel like, too, a lot of you all might have been wanting to have kids with this person. They never gave you a child, but then they run out and have a child with someone else. They didn't think you were good enough. Or something like that. But you are trustworthy. This person is not. This person solely only wanted to have a baby with this person for money. And this masculine energy going to get hit with it. Because this person right here was preparing themselves for this. It's like this person can't forgive themselves for the situation that they're in. But I mean, you're in it now. You're in this shit right now. It's my name, Corbin. Okay. My lad named Bayman or something. Somebody named Patrice. Katrina. Yolanda. Okay. Max. Maxine, maybe. Or Maxwell. Huh. It's they're gonna invite you somewhere. It seems like this person wants to take you out or something. Somebody loves acorns 
or you it's a significant scent in your home it has acorn or pine or something like that i feel like this person is the devil in the flesh spirit is not supporting this at all whatever this is this person's trying to do it's not being supported they won't be able to come anywhere near you but this this bitch is this bitch is trying to come towards you and let you know that they're pregnant i don't feel like you give a fuck though whoever this person is you haven't even spoken to them like the whole time that you've been healing this person has literally been opening up wounds like that was supposed to be healed long ago they were keeping these wounds open but this was within themselves they're sitting back watching you mad at you because you're not pregnant or you're not getting bitches pregnant right here masculine and this person is just out here sleeping with any fucking body and then now they're stuck. You dig a rule? Like, they're stuck with this person now. This person wanted this girl to get an uh, abortion, but she said no. She said, fuck no, I'm keeping my baby. Why would she get an abortion? Why the fuck would you even mention that? The hell? You should have known that. You should have known it was a chance that that was going to happen. Please. Let's just grow up here, guys. Let's just grow the fuck up. My name is Tammy, Monique or Moniqua. Somebody named Damon. Faulkner, Faulkner <laughs> or something. Yeah, it's a little boy. But see, I'm just really trying to figure out where you fit in. Like, why do why does this bitch or why does this nigga feel like you care at all? The energy I'm picking up, you don't even fuck with this person. You're either separated and damn near about to be divorced or something like that. And if you're separated and getting divorced, you left them behind for this one reason and one reason only because their communication skills suck and this person is asleep. They out here sticking dick in any fucking body. Opening their legs for anybody and getting pregnant. So it's a reason, you know, uh, why you're not fucking with this energy here. I really feel like that fam masculine. Huh? I don't know how you're going to take this though. Because whoever this is, they're going to bring this news to you in a very derogatory way. It's like they can't wait. <laughs> They, they genuinely cannot fucking wait to tell you something. Mm. I don't feel like you don't care. It's my name, Jacquez. Yeah, I'm interested. I don't think you're going to give a fuck. I truly don't because it's like this person has done too much anyway. I was like, oh, okay. It may be disappointing, but you're still in the six of wands, the temperance in reverse. It's just like, oh, okay. Like, okay. Like, what, what are you telling me for? I don't care kind of energy. It's like this person tries to find a way to insert you in everything. It's definitely your ex. It's like they keep inserting you and shit. Like, bro, I don't care. Who gives a fuck what you're doing? We know you're a hoe. We know that's what you do. We know this. They're hoping that you will take them back. You're like, fuck no. You're, you're not going to accept this. Yeah, cherry, cancer energy, will card. You're not going to accept this person for what? This person is a fucking loser. You've been losing all this goddamn time. All this time you've been separated from this person and all you can come back with it is an L, nigga. A L? That's all? Like, that's all you can come back with, nigga? That's all you've accumulated was an L. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? Like, that's you. Stop trying to make this person lose with you, bro. Y'all niggas and bitches need to stay the fuck back from divine feminine masculine, bro. Move on. Move the fuck around, bitch. Full car Aries energy here. The four of pentacles. They want to hold you back with them. It's like they want you to... This this person wants you to stay. But this is not Jodeci at all. 
It's nothing, no sweet singing, none of that shit with this person. You don't want to hear anything from them, I feel. And then it's a bitch that got the nerve to feel like she's going to come in and tell you something about this king of wands fuck nigga that's slain her wand every fucking where. You don't give a fuck about this. Why is this coming up? Maybe because people see your position and they want to challenge you or just see you in some kind of uproar. Like somebody might just want to see you get upset. You're not even going to react to this. This is crazy. All because this person refuses to walk away from you. This person has lost the Ace of Pentacles here. Straight up. They have ruined everything. Y'all connection, whatever this is, they ruined it. Because they, they first of all, this person needs strength. And they don't have any. They're weak as fucking hell. For, first of all, this person ain't even got no self-control. They don't have self-control. I heard this is a stripper or something. Or they might have met somebody out somewhere and they fucked them like the same day or something. And that, that person got pregnant. Or something like that, feel masculine. But see, my thing is, why is this person trying to include you in this shit? It don't got nothing to do with you. You didn't, you, you, see, you did not sit there and make this person have sex with this person. They did that on their own, I feel. So I feel like they need to handle this shit on their own. I don't know why somebody is always constantly coming in y'all fucking life trying to make you be responsible for their, you know, deception. This is a very deceiving ass person. I mean, they're very damn deceiving here. It's a fool card and a four of pentacles. What's a fool card and a four of pentacles, please? Cheryl. The page of swords. I can't make it up. And the hierophant reverse. And the motherfucking five of swords reverse. This person is taking a major loss. But I feel like, okay, take that ill with this person, though. You stuck with this person. Be with that person. You wasn't, you wasn't worrying about divine femme or divine masculine when you were fucking this person. This is what I'm saying. Please, you guys, self-accountability, bro. That shit goes a long way because you can, you, you can save yourself the trouble in the long run. You don't go out here hurting people because you can't accept your faults. Seven of Cups reverse, Queen of Swords. This could be a fucking Aquarius bringing it to you or an Aries. Emperor in the reverse. This is it's actually bizarre as hell to me. You know, it's it's because this person is so it's, it seems like they're they feel entitled or something. This this person really feels like they got some kind of spot in your life to where they can come in whenever they want and manipulate something in your life. Six of Swords. You're being guided by spirit to not even fuck with this at all. The Page of Wands. Yeah, this person gonna bring you this news about being pregnant, but okay. I mean, what does that have to do with you? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Somebody just wants you in your feelings, maybe. But see, a lot of y'all are already with someone. Maybe this person feels like they can't get to you any other way. So they want to come in and reveal the secret to you. I mean, but you already know something. This person is going to end up looking even more stupid with the Nine of Swords. Five of Cups reverse. You already have somebody. This is not going to do nothing but prompt you to keep it fucking pushing. This person like, okay, well, let me go in and hurt them real bad with a baby that I went out and had and got a STD to. Child. <laughs> That's on you, I feel. Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Femme Masculine is good. Y'all are sitting pretty handsome. Death card. Yeah, somebody's trying to bring it into this Queen of Cups victory with drama, chaos, conflicts. Five of Wands energy. Mm, 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 mm. Shit right here, brazing. Because I'm trying to figure out why now. What, what does this person truly want from you? It's like they're on some kind of power trip or something. This person feels so fucking guilty with themselves. Like, you don't got nothing to do with this. Whoever the fuck this is, male or female, I don't give a fucking hell fuck. Whoever the hell this is in this energy, they feel intimidated by your success. That you created on your own. You dig a rule? Four of wands reverse. Four of swords reverse. Eight of wands reverse and a two of wands. 
Somebody's just trying to slow you down. It's like they're waiting to slow something down for you because everything is slowed down for them. What does it sound like, y'all? A motherfucker who what cannot take self accountability. Period. That's that's just that's how I always feel about energies like this. And it's very, I get it. It's very irritating because it's like, well, what the hell did I do to you? You know, that's that's the choice that you chose to make. What the hell do I need to suffer for? What the hell do I need to give a fuck for? You did that. You did it to yourself. And then this bitch or this nigga plays in a lot of spell work as well. So you don't want shit to do with that. I don't feel like you should have to stop your life to be sad. This person wants you to completely stop your life and be stressed out over them um, and their infidelity is what they hurt. We, it's only a, a tactic this narcissist is using. This person went broke as well. Yeah. They don't want you to ghost them, but had no problem ghosting you. So, chill. Fix it. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. I'm going to need you to come fix this. Come scrape this up right here, Jesus. Like, for real, bro. Because, uh, yeah. Divine fan, divine masculine doesn't even care. And it's like the lengths that this person will go to to get you to care is just crazy. Yeah, they're losing. This this person is losing. They're in their head losing. This person is so damn stressed the fuck out. It's like they're not even, they don't even have the capacity to deal with whatever this is. They're so, it's like, as soon as they found out this, they were very adamant on trying to make their way to you. It's like everything that they go through, they feel like you need to go through something similar. But see, they lost their chance. That fell on the floor. I seen 3151. It's it's so many losses that this person is taking. They won't share that with you, you dig a rule. But see, while you're here getting the jackpot, you're acting cold with this person. And they're recognizing who you truly are. And they're in this deep regret. You know, like damn, I played a lot of games with this person. I played a lot of games. And now I'm pissed the fuck off. So I need to go in and, and play more games and try to get this person back in my good graces here or get back in their good graces. Even though I got all these family fucking issues, you know, this, this person is wasting their fucking time looking at you to solve some kind of issue for them because it's not possible. First of all, it ain't your fucking place to uh, take on this person's karma. They need to take on their own fucking karma. That's just how I feel about it. This person does not know what the fuck self-accountability means. You're not about to kiss this person ass for them to talk to you or for them to want you either. What the fucking hell fuck? This person tripping. They can't come no, um, near you anyway. Because they're not shit is what Spirit said. This person ain't even shit right here. Stay your ass the fuck over where the hell you at. That's weird. Like this, I don't I don't ever get people like this. People that do shit like this that fuck they life up and then try to come run into you and include you too. What the fuck? It's like they want you to go down the drain with them. It's like they have completely fucked their whole life up. This person went broke. Literally, after they ghosted you. It's like they didn't want anything to do with you. And you just left it from there. You picked up the pieces where the fuck they may have fell and you got the fuck on. I mean, what else were you supposed to do? This person thought that you were going to stop living your life or something. And now they're the ones at a halt. This is very weird. Somebody just got a U-Haul truck here moving. Congrats, guys. This person is going to neglect the fuck out of this child. They're not even going to be there. Little do this bitch know. But she doesn't care anyway. She just wants money. Like I said, moving on, falling on the floor, right? This person, as soon as this this person... Man, this, this, this masculine energy is going to get the fuck on because they're not shit. Anybody that they have sex with and impregnate them, they do them the same exact way. And fam, they would have did the same thing to you. This person is just a dog. And you're an idol. They want to come and, you know, try to fuck your shit up. Because they're bankrupt. You're an idol. You're respected, adored, okay? Admired here. You got fans and shit right here. And this person, the heat is on. It's just, it is what it is. I feel like you need to learn how to take self-accountability. That's what it goes back down to. Take self-accountability for what it is that you did and maybe you could begin to heal. Take some time with yourself instead of every time you get frustrated, you going to snort a fucking line or stick dick in some fucking body or go hop on some dick. Why don't you purge, cry, get it over with and heal? 
That shit can't be that fucking bad. But then they want to sit back and act like a groupie, you know, watching everything you do, stalking you. And then they try to come in and literally make your life a living fucking hell. This is like a child who grew up without their father and this child is famous or something or they, they're accepting or, or picking their their university or or, 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 or team they're going to play for. And then the fucking the parent shows up at a fucking conference like I'm their daddy. I'm their mama. Like, where the fuck you been, though? You dig a rule? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's the energy I'm picking up. This person is rejected. They're not a fucking boss daddy, and they're just cloud hungry. For a lot of y'all, too, this, this person just, you know, trying to be seen with you or something. This person is a loser. I, I just, I don't, I don't ever give a fuck how much money you got. You're a damn loser. Just because you got money don't mean you're not clout hungry. You're unfazed by this jiggable, period. This is a damn jiggable here. I really feel that vibe. What else here for Divine Family Masculine? Y'all will remain unfazed. Oh, look. Romantic love affair. Sex fix. Secret lover. Fuck buddy. That's, I mean, that's all this person looks for. And they were trying to look for that in you too. They thought that you were going to, you know, just be on board with having sex. Just not being married. And nah. They thought you were down with that and you're not. You're unfazed. This person is trying to send scarcity tactics to you. This bitch wants you to know that she's pregnant by masculine. Oh, okay. The fuck, bitch? Like, huh? Yeah. That's real shit. This person... The real T is this, this, this masculine is going to leave this bitch to be a single parent. This person has proven this so many times. I mean, they've, they've done this several times to different women. Or this bitch ain't never going to let masculine see the child or something. Because they don't need you to be a dad. They need you to be a wallet. They need you to be an ATM. I guess you are a real shapeshifter here. <laughs> matrix energy. Somebody is stuck in the matrix. Like stuck. Yep. They were trying to ruin your reputation. They were trying to ruin your reputation because they fucked up theirs, huh? Make it make sense, you guys. I just really need this to make sense. I need this to make sense. I mean, I, need, I need this to make mm, Let me get a couple of these and close this message out. What else are there? Mm, 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 mm. What's going on for Divine Family? I saw any messages here. Yeah. Somebody think you is just Somebody, somebody really thinks you're stupid. Hmm. That is confirmation all day. This person thinks you're stupid. And they think you're desperate. They think you're vulnerable. They think you'll just fall for any fucking thing. It's like this person can't wait to come in and just tell you anything. But I feel like y'all don't even have shit to build on anyway. So why does this person even feel like they owe you an explanation? We are broken up. Live your life. If you have kids, that's what comes with life. Why does this person feel like that shit's so important to you? It's not. Whoever you are, you don't give a fuck what this person is doing in life. I'm sorry to say it, but you don't. Or this person does not give a fuck what you're doing in life. The situation will improve. It's in the reverse. This person is not going to get an abortion. Like they, they want this person to get an abortion. They're like, no fucking way. I'm not doing it. But I feel like that's what you get, nigga. That's exactly what you get. You should be stuck. Because that's what you're trying to do to this divine feminine. Damn, this fuck nigga out here fucking everything. They they fucking everything. This person might have had this child within the next few months. They out here fucking everything walking and then get mad at you because you're healing and living your life. So they want to come in and make you miss an opportunity. Mind you, you ain't even spoke to this person. You ain't did anything to them. They want to ruin your life because they ruined theirs. Ain't that some shit? But there's something better. You don't deserve to have nobody like this around you. You need to be with a real man, a real woman. This is not real. This is some bullshit. This is some puppy love ass fucking bullshit right here. This person has completely fucked up everything for themselves. Abundance in the reverse. Big happy changes reverse. This is not your energy. It's theirs. They're trying to come into your life and make you a part of this year. 
somebody wants you to um like be a stepmom, yeah, let go of this person. Or they let go of you. Or you need to let go of them. It's like, y'all probably like, girl, I ain't need to talk to him. I know. I know. But trust me, some bitch about to come in and tell you that she pregnant. It's like somebody wants you to know something so fucking bad. Like, they want you to know that, you know, they're pregnant by this person. They want you to reconsider, like, okay, well, I'll be here through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Like, no, nah, hell no. Nah. You're reckless sexually. This person is very sexually reckless. And I mean, they don't give a fuck. This person doesn't care who they hurt. They don't even care if they hurt themselves. They only believe in the moment. I'm hearing that song, Moment in Time by Cherish. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's a peaceful resolution over here, fam. I the block list. You dig a rule? Yes. Keep this person blocked. But see, maybe I, I don't feel like it's this person bringing you this news. It's this bitch because you're successful. I also feel like two niggas need to keep y'all name. Bitches need to keep your name out their mouth trying to associate themselves with you. It's like somebody is bragging about how they know you or how they used to date you. And they're like telling everybody that they know that they know you. What the fuck? This is weird. You ain't even spoken to this person. Yeah, this person wants you to wait. Future the only motherfucker who got paid for waiting for a motherfucker. Straight up. I'm not even going to cap you down. Future is the only one who sold or, or whatever the fuck. He got millions of views waiting for a motherfucker. You dig a rule? He made a nice bag off that song. And honey, he's the only one pushing that. Nobody is going to wait for you. Ain't nobody getting benefited waiting for you hoes and you niggas. If you're out here doing whatever you're doing, you need to learn how to accept the consequences and know that it starts with you and the shit that you were doing. This person can't forgive themselves. Why the fuck do they have anything to do with you? It doesn't. This person, this person wants everything to have something to do with you and it just doesn't. They want so badly for you to be a part of something that don't got nothing to do with you. And they're unwilling to forgive themselves. You dig a rule? But there's a peaceful resolution. Like I said, the block fucking list. I feel like just keep this person out of your life, out of your space, because they're going to ruin your life. It's like whatever. It's like this person is trying to push everything that they're going through onto you. April 16th, August 9th. Okay, May 5th, January 3rd, September the 7th, March 25th, April 18th, February 16th. January 9th, okay? This is, it's, it's like this, this person doesn't care. June 5th, August 28th, December the 21st, October 21st, November 22nd, the 23rd, and the 29th. Oh, we, but this person, um, yeah. It's my name, Brandon. Brandon Peterson or something. Somebody name definitely is Kenneth. Ken. Ken. And see, you're being patronized as well. You dig a rule? It's like something that's going on with you. <laughs> Maybe publicly. And um, you're getting you're getting recognition from other people. And this person sees that too. And they're this this person is extremely fucking jealous. Okay. So watch out for this energy because whoever this feminine energy is, it's like they're rushing in. I'm seeing the Knight of Wands. It's like they're rushing the fuck in to tell you this. Although you don't give a fuck, but it's like, okay, well, let me just put the bug in your ear anyway. Do with it as you will. And they're just hoping that, you know, it makes you lash out, act out, or, um, you know, feel some type of way and start, you know, calling this masculine energy here. And also be careful because this person may try to catfish you. And create some kind of account acting like they a bitch or a nigga, but they're truly the opposite sex. It's truly this person hitting you up because they might not know another way to tell you. So they may come at you like they're a female and they're really, you know, your, your ex trying to come in and tell you some shit in a very derogatory way. You dig a rule? Because it's something like, why is this? I'm trying to figure out. You don't even fuck with this. Part. Why are these? Why? Why are these people trying to include y'all in whatever this is? They don't even got nothing to do with you. You don't even give a fuck. 
You literally are in a relationship or you're single and fucking loving it. And it's like this person has to come in and tell you the truth. You don't give a fuck though. Why does it matter what you do when you move on? When we break up, what you do next don't matter. Like what the fuck? It's like this person wants to be relevant in your life. Or maybe this is some kind of stunt to get them to call you. I mean, to get you to call them or something here, fam masculine. Always use your fucking discernment. Is what I was My discernment is going off in this reading. This person is on fuck shit. They're trying to get you to pull back from your healing. They don't want you to go so hard at work. This person wants you to be... Um, they just want you to be in your feelings for some reason here. And you're just not... You don't got no reason to be in your fucking feelings. You're living your life. You're working. You're in love. You're doing shit, bro. And I really, truly don't get why this person won't leave you the fuck alone. It's like everything they get they self into, they got to come and bring that shit your way for it to be pressure on you or stress. And they're purposely doing this, obviously. You dig a room? <sighs> I don't know, fam, masculine, but I hope this helped you guys out. Remember, God loves you and so do I.